G'day everyone, thought I'd redo a sound comparison between these two pedals. Um, just a quick explanation for those that didn't see the last pedal so you know that the, how these two are set up. Um, this, the AD9 comes with an MN3205 which is about 200 milliseconds of delay. That's what you'll get if you buy a vintage AD9. Um, and the Ac Mad Bean Aquaboy, my clone of the DM2, um, has two MN3008 which are 100 milliseconds each so it's also 200 milliseconds um, delay time. If you buy a DM2 you'll get longer delay than that because they usually come with MN3005s uh, and I think there's a few that have got MN3205s as well but regardless they will be 400 milliseconds instead of two. So this is a pretty fair comparison to both 200 milliseconds um, and um, they both got their pros and cons won't go into that at the moment we'll just get straight into the sound samples. Oh, also these knobs um, delay time, um, uh, level, and repeats. The green one is repeats, um, so so that you know what they're set to. So let's have a listen to it. And also, don't forget this um, this delay time on the left here. Down is actually the longest. To the left is the longest. To the right is actually the shortest. Believe it or not, crazy. I know, but yeah, to the left is the um, longest delay time. So let's have a listen to it. Probably mic this one up, I think, so that we can we can get a nice, some um, clear sound sample of them both. So there's a few quick sound samples of them both and um, just in a nutshell my impression of them both. I really like the, um, the self oscillating on this, um, on this a lot more than I actually do on the DM2. It sounds a bit um, metallic on the DM2 whereas this just sounds awesome when, you, um, start, when it starts to self oscillate and it will pretty much self oscillate all day long um, whereas this one tends to get a bit bitey pretty quickly. There's no real happy medium with this thing. It either sounds metallic or it just goes nuts. Um, whereas this thing will just happily um, just self-oscillate your, um, uh, your, your chord or whatever you've played just over and over and over. It sounds really good. Um, and also the, you may notice a bit of noise in um, this pedal um, in the repeats. And I found that the, I think the, I think the, not so much problem I guess you could say, but I think the difference between the two is that the AD9 is um, heavily filtered. Um, that's why it sounds so warm or dark because it doesn't have a lot of the top end of your guitar signal um, has been chopped off. This helps to get rid of the clock frequency that, so that you can extend the delay time longer um, without hearing the clock frequencies creep in, whereas this one doesn't have as much 
um, treble filtering on it. So you can't take it as far as you can with this one. So having them both set to the same delay time is actually a disadvantage for the DM2 because I, I think it it um, it reproduces your guitar signal a bit more um, clearer than it does than the um, AD9 does. Um, it's it keeps more of the um, treble um, in the um, in the guitar content that's um, that's repeated on the delays. Um, so that's just a little. Um, a little snapshot of both of them, a um, bit better than last time I demoed it when I opened up the um, AD9, um, mainly in part because I didn't realise that turning this stupid knob to the left was actually how you increase the delay time, not the right. Um, a little oversight on my part, um, but yeah, anyway, that's um, that's a uh, comparison between the two. If you're looking at building one, or you're looking at buying a DM2, or you're looking at buying an AD an AD9. If you bought a DM2, it wouldn't be, um, I mean, between these two comparisons, you probably think, well, the AD9 is better, um, but if you bought a real DM2 with a MN3005 chips or built a DM2 with 3005 chips, you'd get the same sort of delay time that you get out of the AD9, probably longer, um, but it would be clearer as well. Um, so that's my, that's what I've gotten out of this lesson. You, your results may vary, but that's the conclusion that I'm coming from um, between these two, um, these two pedals. Um, so you're probably going to see more BBD-based pedals because, like I said in the last video, I'm a little bit obsessed with um, BBD uh, uh, delay pedals at the moment, um, and I tend to get stuck into things once I, um, once I get onto something that I like, and I'm loving BBD delays and you should too. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.